Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I should like to greet you all and tell you how much I regret for being unable to be among you. Secondly, I would like to congratulate my friends at the Tuberculosis Vaccine Initiative for organizing this timely conference on the topical issue of the need to develop new tuberculosis vaccines. Ladies and gentlemen, do I need to remind you that drug-resistant forms of tuberculosis are spreading in Europe at an alarming rate? As you may know, a report published by the World Health Organization last month once again showed that tuberculosis is neither a disease of the past nor of countries far away. Although tuberculosis rates have declined significantly last year, one and a half million people die every year from that disease. Nearly nine million, nine million people fall seriously ill every year. A third of the world population is infected and therefore at risk of developing the disease. In 2009, there were nearly 10 million children who lost their parents to tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, ancient as a disease might be, is a genuine problem for the world today. I am proud, therefore, to speak to a group of people that hold some of the tools with which we can fight this disease. Over the past weeks, we have heard about the urgent need for better drug regimes. We have heard about the need to diagnose tuberculosis faster, more efficiently and more accurately. However, eventually we will need better vaccines to finally eliminate this disease, to protect our children and their children. Scientific research has also shown us that we cannot get rid of tuberculosis without better immunization. To win this battle, we need vaccines. Fortunately, researchers have made great progress over the past years. If you look around, you will see several researchers in this very room who are working on promising vaccine candidates. Still, we know that besides academic efforts, there is a need for cross-sector collaboration, political support and sufficient funding. Dear friends, when it comes to collaboration, I look at all of you. Tuberculosis is a complicated problem and developing new vaccines against it is a complicated and very large task. A task that no one party can solve alone. Collaboration is crucial. Scientists have to join forces like you're doing here. But politicians, foundations and companies will have to take responsibility too. Vaccine research is complicated and, of course, costly. Can we ask for this type of investment in these economically difficult times? The answer should be yes. Firstly, because millions of lives are at stake. And secondly, because tuberculosis damages economies and brings significant financial burden. Eliminating tuberculosis means that lives will be saved, costs will be cut, and economies can grow. Developing new vaccines in Europe also means putting Europe at the forefront of innovation, creating jobs and growing industries. Imagine, we can prevent millions of people from dying and millions more of falling ill. We can prevent millions of children from losing their parents, millions of families from losing income, and we can reduce poverty. We can boost economies worldwide and strengthen Europe's position. What a tremendous waste it would be to leave this opportunity. Let's make it really. Many thanks and I wish you the best of work.